Mickey Mouse TV all figure that with myself Theo Kane and as always this episode is sponsored by Flost and Paradise one of my favourite toy distribution companies in the UK they get so many exclusives and every time I talk to him the dude that runs Flost and Paradise Nick is showing me all the other stuff that they're going to be getting so there's so many cool toys and things that you're going to be getting exclusively through Flost and Paradise if you use that as the people that you go to buy your toys from which I have been doing for a long time now so to be working with them is a dream come true it's wicked and I can't wait to get to the next toy this one is so basically they sent me a box of stuff a big box of stuff it's over here and we're going to be getting through it like week by week and they sent and this is the thing that I pulled out and I'm like yes and it's the uh, it's this look at that bad boy so this is made by Monstars and it's a fucking like Japanese vinyl critter like a kaiju critter and i got this last week but i've been waiting uh, till we could do these videos because i needed the free time to do it and i've been wanting to open this so fucking bad so before i do that we'll just look a bit at the box art because anyone that collects toys uh, well not anyone but a lot of people that collect toys are really interested in just the box art itself it's like the whole package is what really fucking makes it uh, a, a whole entity so on this one you've got all the original critters there photos you've got the painting off the original vhs cover one of my favorite vhs covers ever one of my favorite creature features is critter is critters and uh so on the box it says uh monsters in association with show films presents critters um it says critter is a vinyl hairy hungry space alien replica for adults 18 and up so this is not for youths this this toy is not for youths not every fucking toy that ever comes out is for youths this is this is for us adults only and without further ado, I'm going to open it. So big up to Monstars for making this anyway, because it's so sick. And if you've seen any of our All Figured Out episodes, you'll know how much I love Japanese vinyl. So, like I said, I waited a week before I opened it. So I'll try and slow down and not rip the fucking box like a barbarian. It's nicely packaged as well. Very, very cool. I don't want to rip it getting it out. As you know, when I'm opening toys, I don't like to rip the boxes. If I'm going to rip the box, then I, I usually won't open it. So I might have some disappointing videos go up where I don't actually take the figure out of the box. But this one is coming out. There we go. Put that there. Nice one. Oh, it's so sick. The bottom of it even looks like some old like 80s troll toy or something with the little the little uh, inject. I think, what would this be? Injection molded, maybe? Injection molded. It's, it's like rubber. It's vinyl. So it's going to be, oh no, it's going to be chemically dip moulded. But that's like the, the, the hole there, the air hole. Classic twizzle. Some figures have so many of these on, I'm glad this one doesn't. Look at him, bad boy. So rough his hair up a little bit, so he looks like a proper critter. <laughs> Check the face on it. It's fucking right good. And he's got the, he's got the big smiley grin. Yeah, man. And he proper feels like an from blowing his hair. It looks a bit like my hair, actually. Looks a bit like he could have a, a, an haircut like me. Probably like they've cut my hair off and stuck it on the toy. So yeah, he's got like proper troll hair so he can comb that up or whatever. Critters does not get enough love. There's not enough cool Critters toys out there. So the fact that Monstars have made this is so fucking sick. He's got no articulation, but who needs articulation on this figure? He just sits straight on the shelf. This is going to be going with all my other vinyl kaiju on the shelf. It's got like a classic dry brush kind of paint effect. And it's just sick. It's proper cool. It was my favourite thing out of all the stuff that they brought out. It was sick, just like watching Critters just stroking its hair and chilling, do you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that's a very, very cool figure. These are available over at Flost and Paradise on their website. It's fpcollectibles.com. They sell such cool stuff on there, including this fucking Critter. So, uh, I hope that they haven't sold out anymore because I, I want, I'd like one of these in every fucking household in the UK. I'd like an entire Critter invasion across the fucking country across the planet everyone needs a critter in their life I'd, I'd like a real one ideally like an actual live critter uh, but in the meantime i'll have to make do with this sick vinyl one and it's a very good substitute um but yeah no being real this is a very very sick a sick toy and i uh i only wish that i had this before because i met d wallace at horicon we worked with her like for a whole weekend and she was one of the coolest fucking guests that we've ever had she was so so sound and she would have signed a thousand of these for me because she was so fucking generous yeah, so it'd have been cool to get it signed or to, to get a picture with her with it. But just knowing that we met her was fucking awesome and knowing that uh, <laughs> knowing that she's she's as cool in real life as you always wanted her to be because she's an absolute star. And, just, and if you didn't know who she is, she's the woman that starred in Critters. She's in tons of other films like E.T. and things. 
but as always i'm getting sidetracked so yeah i love this figure like i said head, head over to fpcollectibles.com if you want to try and get yourself one of them if they aren't already sold out um and they're also on instagram so i'll put all the links at the bottom we're on instagram we're on twitter we're on facebook we're on all that good shit um and we're also on patreon so if you want to help see if you want to have a look that I need to slow myself down because I get too excited opening fucking toys <laughs> and then I, uh, I I lose what I'm saying. But um, yeah, you can help support Slimehouse TV. We're a completely independently run business. We review toys, we interview cool people. Like D Wallace I was just talking about. There's an interview with D Wallace on this very YouTube that you can check out right now for free. Go check that. There's tons of uh, interviews on there with all different artists from all over the world, all well, like world-renowned in their field, loads of 80s movie stars, that kind of thing. It's a cool little thing that we've got going on, man. So if you want to help us support that, you can head over to... Cut me, I'm stroking the critter like some Bond villain. So if you want to have a look at You Can Help Slimehouse TV, go to patreon.com forward slash Slimehouse TV. We do a vlog every month, like uh, loads of stuff to do with toys and just loads of stuff to do with all our filmmaking and everything. I take a camera with me now everywhere and i film everything and chop it into a monthly feature length vlog so you can uh, you can check that on the patreon as well uh, but before you do that head over to flossed and paradise and see if you've got anything cool that takes your fancy i guarantee they will they have the sickest stuff um, and like i said they're always getting new stuff so make sure you follow them across all social media platforms but until the next toy review i'm theo kane this video is sponsored by flossed and paradise but for now we're gone boom as always, thank you so much for checking out the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We're also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And on top of all that, we recently set up a Patreon. So please check that out and find out how you can help us make Slimehouse bigger and better than ever. Don't forget to check out all the other cool stuff on our channel and we'll catch you next time on Slimehouse TV.